Hello everyone and welcome to my review of a very little indie film called The Fits. I believe this film premiered at the Sundance Film Festival, maybe another film festival, maybe another another film festival, I don't really know. I didn't know this movie actually existed until about three days ago. I found it at a theater in the OC, one theater in the entire OC was playing this movie. But what intrigued me the most about this film was that it was an hour and 12 minutes. So I was really curious to see if these filmmakers could tell a very interesting story with some great characters in about an hour time, plus credits. So what is this film about? Well, we get to know a very young black woman, or I should say young black girl. She is about 11 or 12. She's a tomboy. She hangs out with her brother and practices boxing. She loves to box. She goes to this rec center in the area. But one day, she's intrigued by a group of other young women, who are young girls, I should say, who are dancing, like in a big, huge dance group. And so she starts to participate in this huge dance group and kind of live her young life and maybe slowly become a woman. She starts to get earrings and uh, other things and... Then something weird starts to happen to some of the young girls in this dance group. They start to have seizures or fits, not all at the same time, but there's this weird epidemic that starts to happen between these young little girls. Nothing really is explained. They don't know if it's the water or something else in the building. There's this kind of controversy going on, and what a weird concept for a film, especially... A one that made me feel like I had a lot of questions. I have a huge question mark right here in my in my mind. And I'm like, what was the plan for these filmmakers? Now this comes from a new director. Her name is Anna Rose Homer. And what I'll say about this director is she's someone I'm gonna look forward to seeing when it comes to her next project, her next project, um, I found her direction to be very interesting, simple yet real. It really helped that there was not a single recognizable actor or actress in the film. The main little girl, her her name, uh, her character's name is Tony in the movie, but her name is Royalty Hightower. What a name, Royalty Hightower. That's a that's a great name. I'd like to see more of this actress. I think it was uh, she was good in the movie. She, you know, she pretty much probably played herself, but she's very convincing uh, as someone who's very athletic and and someone who likes boxing and someone who likes to dance, someone who you know loves to, to do exercise. Very convincing. I, I'm assuming that it's something that she might be interested in real life. That's how much she convinced me in the performance. I don't know. I I, I like the setting of this movie. I like the mysterious feel of this film. The movie is unrated. If I was going to rate it something, I would give it a rating of PG-13 just because of the subject matter of like some of these things that happened to these young little girls. When that stuff was going on, it, the movie almost turned into, from a drama, it turned into a, almost like a horror film. Nothing disgusting or gross by any means, but just that eerie atmosphere that is created in horror films. It kind of started to wonder like there's this silent killer that was not killing these girls but causing these weird fits these weird reactions and I liked it for those reasons and then sometimes I didn't because I felt like I saw half of a movie here and my biggest complaint now is that the movie is only an hour and 12 minutes and it could have been 20 minutes longer and in those 20 minutes I don't need all the answers to what's going on but I would love a little bit of an explanation or more of a meaning of what is going on or what this girl is really all about. Some more character development for this young little girl. I felt like we were in this world for a short period of time and I think the film suffered a little bit because of that. Overall, I thought this was a good film. If this is the director's first feature, I don't know if she's ever done anything before. It's a solid, good first film. I hope we see more from her. I think she's got some interesting ways of telling stories. And I liked for her to have more time. 
whatever story she's going to tell next, whether it's something of her own or something of somebody else's story. Because I think we could possibly have a really strong director uh, in the future from this from this woman. Uh, I enjoyed the film. I thought it was a good film. Not for everyone. Not going to go out and say you must see this movie. But if you like to see something that's different, something that is all its own, then I think you should check out The Fits. Good little film with some good acting, uh, a good location, and what else can I say? I thought it was a good effort for that. I am going to give The Fits, I'm going to give it a solid three stars out of four. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and share this video. And also, please check out these amazing movie websites. And if you enjoyed this review, please click here to subscribe to my channel. And also, please check out all my recent reviews right here on YouTube. Have a great day. Live film. Find peace, happiness, and harmony in anything and everything you do. And I'll talk to you at my next movie review.